Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna be testing out some new Wet n Wild makeup releases. So Wet n Wild seems to launch new makeup products every year around this time, but this year I didn't know that they were gonna come out with a couple new stuff and like specifically this new Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I'm so excited about it. And one of you guys actually sent this to me on Instagram, which shout out to you because you guys always keep me in the loop with all the new makeup products and I really, really appreciate it. So apparently this is now at Walgreens, but I went to Walgreens, they didn't have it. So I decided to order this and a couple other new stuff directly from Wet n Wild's website. I'm not sure if they're gonna come out with more new stuff, but this is what I got so far. So I got one day shipping and here we are. Yeah, we're gonna just test everything out today, do a little wear test. I should say retest out. I filmed this video yesterday and I hated the way that the footage looked. The audio was also messed up, so I scrapped that and here we are again, hopefully this time it'll be better. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Of course, as always, grab a snack and let's jump into it. Okay, here we go. So I have my brows done, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I always do brows first, then eyes, then face. It's like my ritual. It has to be done that way. So I'm actually gonna start out with a new eyeliner. I think for today, I'm just gonna do some winged liner, lashes, and then just glowy skin. So Wet n Wild does have a new, apparently waterproof liquid liner. So I did wear this yesterday for about eight hours and it did last all throughout the day. This is what the packaging looks like. So it says it's their breakup proof waterproof liquid liner in the shade Ultra Black. The only thing I didn't like about this eyeliner was the fact that it wasn't totally black. Black. I felt like it was kind of, I mean, it was black, but I should say it wasn't fully matte. I love just a good matte liner, and this one just kind of had a little bit of a shine to it. So it was still a good liner. Like I'll show you guys today, it's super easy to work with, but that's the only thing. I don't love the finish of it. But if you guys do want a really good liquid liner that is super matte, CoverGirl has the most amazing one, and I always go back to this one. It's so good. It's like my absolute favorite. So. Anyways, I'm gonna do just a classic winged liner today. I have my little e.l.f. eye tapes right here that I'm just gonna pop on. I am not an expert at winged liner, so <laughs> bear with me. The e.l.f. eye tapes definitely help a lot though if you are a beginner or like I said, if you're just not that great like me, they really, help a lot so you can just see though even though I'm not like the best at it it is like very easy to work with it has a, such a tiny little tip so it's perfect for really getting like that pointy wing so I might go over it just with the covergirl one because like I said I just love a good matte liner I mean if you don't really care about that then you'll really like this because other than that it is a really good liner then when you take off the tapes, you get a nice little wing. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for the eyes. I'm gonna do a quick coat of mascara, pop on some falsies. I wanna keep today's video strictly all about wet and wild, so I'm gonna do everything off camera and all the other products that I use, I will leave them down below in the description box if you guys are interested. Okay, I just applied my falsies. Again, I will leave them linked down below. These are from ColourPop. And I actually did go over top of the liner with some CoverGirl Get In Line liquid liner. So game time now let's do the face so i have here their new prime focus primer serum which just looks like this i don't love the packaging i definitely prefer just traditional like squeezy tube packaging but that's like me being picky you know not a big deal so this has a very like milky consistency it just it does feel like a serum so i'm just gonna put this on all over my face i already did like my skincare and everything this morning I will say though, yesterday when I used this primer, it did make my makeup last, like my foundation was in place the entire day, but this doesn't fill in your pores or anything. And I did get a little shiny on my forehead yesterday, so I am gonna use a primer just right on my forehead because that is like the main oil spot on my face just to really control that shine. This primer smells a little bit like cucumber, just a little FYI. Oh, I should probably tell you what the claims are, right? Yes. So this is a hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea, refines and nourishes as it preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear. So. I definitely do agree that it does prep your skin and it does prolong your makeup, but it's not gonna fill in your pores or anything. So you're gonna have to use something different, like maybe for your T-zone or where you have larger pores, which is what I'm gonna do, just because yesterday I didn't and I felt like I got super oily right on my forehead, so I kinda wanna extend that a little bit today. And 
not have to touch up. So let's do that. Since this is like a wet and wild video, I'm gonna to try to use as many other wet and wild products as possible. So I actually really do like their matte primer. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this right on my T-zone. And this like smooths out the skin and everything too, which is nice. And then definitely on that forehead. Now, for the foundation, I'm so excited about this, you guys. This is gonna be, I already know, like my new favorite. So this is their Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I got this one in the shade Golden Beige, which is the same shade that I'm in in the regular foundation as well. So it says it hydrates, smooths complexion for a luminous finish, the buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. So, does have the same packaging as the original, so it comes with like the little spatula, which I don't really mind. I'm using my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and I'm just going to pounce this in. So this foundation is just so beautiful. It's very dewy, but it's not too luminous. And when you first do one layer, you can see it does even out your skin tone so nicely, but it's not full coverage. I would say it's a very natural medium coverage, which I actually do really like especially if you have a good skin day, if you're just doing something very minimal, I think this is going to be a really great foundation just to really kind of make it look like your skin but better, you know? That's exactly what it does. So I am gonna build up the coverage just because I love full coverage and just to show you guys how it does look layered. I layered it yesterday and it wore beautifully throughout the day. And I think this time it's gonna be even better just because I did use that mattifying primer on my T-zone. I think it's just gonna hold up much better. So that is one layer. You can just see it's so pretty. The shade is perfect. I feel like it looks even better in person. Like looks so good. So I am going to do another layer. The foundation is a little runny too. So just something to keep in mind. It's not going to be like a thick formula at all. Also, this foundation doesn't smell like paint. I feel like their original one had a little bit of a strong scent, which doesn't really bother me personally, just because most makeup products that do have a strong scent, I don't find them to last throughout the entire day. But this one doesn't really smell like anything, which is good. I love how versatile this foundation is, so you could definitely wear this for like every single day, natural makeup look, or you can amp it up, add a little extra coverage, and it could be like a good like going out foundation too because it's so comfortable, it doesn't cake, and it blends like a dream. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna do concealer, powder, and bronzer. I'm also gonna set my brows, and then we'll be right back. And then we're gonna do blush, highlighter, and lip products. So I will be right back. Okay, rest of the makeup is done. All I did also with my eyes, I just added some liner, lower lash mascara, and I added some butter bronzer right in the crease, and that's also what I have as my bronzer on my face today. So, I really wanna quickly talk about their new lip masks that they came out with. You guys, these are amazing, specifically their nighttime mask. I am obsessed with, this is like essential. So, this is their lip sleeping mask. This is the lavender one. And first of all, let's just talk about the packaging. I love it, super cute. So this is an overnight lip treatment mask that you can wear right before bed. I have been loving it right before bed, right before makeup, because it is so thick and hydrating. So this is what it looks like. You can see I already made a dent in it because it's just that good. And definitely does smell like lavender essential oil. So if you don't like that smell, you're definitely not gonna like this, but it's not too strong. I just feel like it's like the perfect lip mask. Like, let me just show you. And I still have like a little bit of foundation on my lips, but I love stuff like this before bed. Like I, Hector and I have actually been using it before bed and it's like we wake up and he even said it and he knows nothing about this stuff, but he's like, oh yeah, my lips feel really soft. Like they just feel so soft. Like, so I definitely like this one more than this one, but if you might like this one if you like traditional like lip Vaseline, because this one's a little bit less thicker than that one. So this is the Grapefruit Mint Mask, and this is just like an everyday kind of lip mask that you can just wear maybe right before makeup or just, you know, throughout the day, throw it in your purse. I do like it, but this one, like I said, it's just not as thick as the lavender one, and so I prefer something a little bit thicker because I just feel like it, it works better. This is a little bit more like Vaseline, whereas this one is a little bit kind of like the Laneige lip sleeping mask. I don't want to say it's an exact dupe, but it's sort of that kind of thicker formula. Anyways, now we are going to go ahead and do some blush and some highlight. So I am going to use the new blush. This is a color icon blush in the shade Nudist Society. It's just like a really pretty, very, very natural 
blush. This is pretty much just like their other blushes, the formula. I feel like the only thing that changed is their packaging and they still have all of their other colors as well. This is just a new shade that I decided to get because I wanted to test it out. So I'm gonna use a Wet n Wild stippling brush. I'm just gonna apply that right to the apples of the cheeks. And this blush is basically like when you go outside and it's super cold and you get a little rosy cheek vibe. That is exactly what this blush is like. You can just see it's so natural. It's just, it's so pretty. I feel like if you are more fair and you just, maybe you don't like a lot of blush, you will really like this. See how pretty it is? I also like to put a little bit on my nose. Now for highlighter, they came out with this blush lighter. So this one is in the shade After Sex Glow and you can just see it basically comes with two highlighters. One is more of like a pinky peach. The other one is champagne. These are very, I don't want to say natural, but they're more natural than their single highlighters that they have. But they're really, really pretty. If you like just like that everyday glow and you don't want to be like too beaming and sparkly, you'll really like these. And they have other colors in these as well. So my favorite highlighting brush is from ABH, it's their number 23 brush. So basically I'm just gonna take both of the shades and just mix the two. Pop that right on the tops of the cheekbones. So you can still like see it, but it's not super, super intense. But I think that's really pretty just for like every day. You want something very simple, especially for like those no makeup makeup days. I think highlighters like this are gorgeous. All right, cool. Now we can officially jump into some lip products. So yesterday I had a little bit of like a mishap with some of their lip products. We're gonna talk about them right now. So they came out with their new Megalass stained glass. So it's basically just like a lip gloss, but it literally stains your lips and it turns into like a kiss proof lip product. So I got the shade Handle With Care. I don't like this color. I don't like the way that it looks on me. So I'm just going to swatch it for you and I'll explain a little bit more about what these are. So when you apply them, they sort of feel like a lip gloss, but not as thick. Like it's just like a very lightweight sort of product. It feels very cooling. And then as it starts to dry, you're still going to have like a little bit of like that glossy effect. It's not going to be like super, super glossy, like nothing like what I'm wearing right now, a little bit less toned down. And then as it dries, it's going to start staining your lips. I just don't like this color, like online, the color looked a little bit different, but I feel like that's kind of like bound to happen. But once it dries, these actually do turn kiss proof, even though it looks a little bit glossy on the lips. It's like the craziest thing because I was like kissing the back of my hand and there was no product coming off of it. So if you like lip stains, I think you will love these. If you can find a color that you really like, I feel like these are going to be really perfect maybe for like a date night. But again, I just don't like this color and this definitely did stain my lips <laughs> yesterday. I was like scrubbing them. So just something to keep in mind. I just don't want to wear this right now because like I said, I just don't like this color on me. You can see it's like an orangey ketchup color and I just don't love it. But again, this is a really, really cool concept. So I just wanted to mention it because I do like the concept of it. I just don't like the color. And then I'm not sure if these are necessarily brand new. I think they're just kind of like repackaged their original Mega Last matte lipsticks. This is actually what I wore yesterday. And although I do like it, this doesn't really last a long time and it doesn't fade that great. So this one is in the shade Cherry Bomb and it's just like a really deep vampy shade. This color sounds so familiar. I'm pretty sure these are just like repackaged lipsticks, which the packaging now is super cute. You can just see it has like a little lipstick on it and it's a lot better than their other packaging, which I do really like. So this is a semi-matte formula. It is pretty comfortable on the lips. Again, it just doesn't last very long through talking, eating, drinking, and you do have to retouch throughout the day. But I mean, it's not a big deal, it's affordable. So if you want a good vampy shade, this one is cute. I'm just such a creature of habit. I just like to be in my comfort zone. So I'm gonna use this color today because I wanna feel comfortable throughout the day. Yesterday, I felt so weird with this bold lip color, especially because it was fading and it just didn't really look the best all throughout the day. So I want to wear something that I can just easily reapply with. So they have their new Mega Last High Shine Brilliance lipstick. So this is like a white packaging. This almost feels like a lip balm with a tint. So this one is in the shade Peach Please. And I will swatch this for you. It is very, very light. As you can see, it's just like a really pretty peachy pink shade and does have a shine, whereas this is more matte. So I'm wiping away the lip balm. 
So I always have to line my lips. I'm just gonna use a NYX lip liner. This one is their matte lip liner in the shade Sandstorm. So I'm using something that's a little bit more brown just because this is a little bit more peachy and I don't love the way like peachy pink shades look on me just on their own because I feel like they make my teeth look really yellow. So that's why I added that brown lip liner. But you can see it's such a pretty color though. I feel like this is a good center shade as well for like lipsticks. I just wanna show you guys the lip stain really quick. Let's see if it transfers onto my fingers very little bit but like on the lips obviously it's a little bit more transfer proof versus just you know doing it on the back of my hand but i just wanted to show you guys that this really is just like a really cool concept and i do like the formula of it i just wish that they had more like nude pinky colors a lot of the shades that they have are a little bit more bold and i mean look it really does stain your lips. So if you're looking for a good lip stain, you would really, really like these. So that's pretty much it for this makeup look. The final thing that I'm gonna do is just set everything and I'm gonna use my Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water, which I love and I'm running very low on. There's like nothing in here, but let's use it up. You guys, I am even more impressed today than I was yesterday with this makeup look and these products. So far, I'm really honestly loving everything. I don't really have any major complaints. The only thing that I wasn't like obsessed with is probably the eyeliner just because of the finish, but the formula is really nice. It's easy to work with. You could see I was able to create the wing like just almost effortlessly, but just I just wish the formula was completely matte. Also, the primer serum is nice. I like how lightweight it is. I can't say that it's gonna be like a holy grail of mine. I definitely have of other drugstore and high-end primers that I prefer, but it's not bad. This foundation is absolutely amazing. I feel like it looks so natural, so fresh on the skin, but there's still really great coverage and I just love everything about it so far. So this I'm very impressed with. And then I also love the highlighter, the blush. I think if you're looking just for something very natural for every single day, you will love these two products because they just give your cheeks just this natural glowy flush, which I'm all about. And then the lip masks, like I told you guys, these are amazing, especially the lavender one. I'm a big fan of this. This is gonna be like my new go-to lip mask, especially now in the winter. This is a must. This one, I, I don't love it, so I'll probably just throw it in my purse. I mean, I don't hate it either. It's just not as thick as this one. I really like a thick, moisturizing lip balm because my lips get super dry. So yeah, so far so good with everything. I'm really loving the way the face looks. I'm loving, pretty much for the most part, almost all the products. So right now it is 11.39 a.m., so I am just gonna go about my day, and I will come back in a few hours, and I'll let you guys know how everything is wearing. All right, guys, so right now it is approximately 5.31, so it has been a good like six hours or so since I first applied my makeup maybe a little bit longer actually and this is what everything is looking like so I have not touched up anything at all the only thing that I just reapplied was my lip color just a little fair warning that this lipstick it, although it is really pretty and I do like the way that it looks it does not last a long time it probably doesn't last honestly longer than like 15 20 minutes so it's definitely one of those things where you have to keep reapplying it everything else you guys I am so impressed with I mean you can just see how pretty the skin looks I think my standout products in today's video are definitely the complexion products. So the foundation, the blush, and the highlighter. Those are like my three top favorites besides the lavender lip mask from earlier. But wow, the foundation looks absolutely stunning. You can see I'm not excessively oily. I think if anything, I look a little shiny, but I don't look greasy. I think it looks so pretty, like just very fresh. It's still in place. I am a little shiny on my forehead, but... When you touch my face, it doesn't actually feel like oil. A little shine peeking through, but it's nothing crazy. I'm I think this primer is pretty nice, but I could definitely do without it. I'm not obsessed with the formula and the way that it makes my skin look, so definitely would pass on it personally. I have other favorite drugstore primers that I prefer over the lip products or something else that I could definitely do without, although I do like the colors and like this color is really pretty. I definitely have other favorites that are more long wearing. I love this blush. I think this is definitely worth trying. This color in particular is beautiful and they have so many other shades in their blushes which are great this highlighter I really love I think it is so pretty and it's so fresh and it's just gives you that really subtle highlight without being too much which typically I love a blinding glow but lately I've been really into these like really kind of like glow from within kind of highlighter and this is beautiful this foundation is incredible I feel like this is gonna be my new go-to for every day it's not too dewy it's not overly greasy on the skin it's very long wearing it has great coverage it's pretty much everything that I want in a foundation and I'm here for it and then like I mentioned the lavender lip mask is 
absolutely incredible. So that is it for this review and wear test. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I am super excited to keep using these products in the upcoming year. These are definitely going to be some of my new holy grails, especially this foundation. I love this so much more than the original. It is so good. I mean, like, I'm shocked at how good it looks, especially after a full day of wearing it. So definitely get your hands on this as well as some of the other products that I mentioned. I think they're definitely worth trying. If you guys have tried them, let me know what you think down below. If you have seen these at any of your local drugstores, also let me know because I am curious to see which one of my drugstores is going to have these products first because I have not seen any of these in stores yet. So leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for everything. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you very soon after Christmas. For those of you who do celebrate it, I hope you have a great one and my regular video schedule will resume after the new year. I'm sorry about this month and just being all over the place, but I'll be back in my normal routine very soon. So I love you guys. Subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you soon. Bye.